It's a sport with an unlimited variety of rules and variations. Paintball. Players come together to accomplish a goal without being hit by opposing teams artillery. But Saturday's second annual Santa's versus Grinch's paintball day focused on another goal. 30 local players gathered to benefit the Hope Pregnancy Care Center. Sun News photojournalist Adam Ace Metcalf captured the story. Today we're doing a fundraiser for Hope Pregnancy Care Center. They're a local charity here in St. George. Uh, what we did was we split up teams into Santas and Grinches and there's presents hidden out on the field. Well, if you're shot one time, it has to break and you're out. In that point, you go back to what we have at a dead shack. And we have a time limit where you can stay in the dead shack, get the paint off, you get ready for the next, uh, what we call reinsertion. And then when we reinsert, you, you get back in the game. And the idea on today is to get a gift and you have to hold the gift in your hand. And if you can keep a hold of that gift till the end of the game, it's yours and you can open it and see what's in it. And if you're shot while you have the gift, you have to either give it to the ref or take it back to your dead shack. And at that point, the ref takes it back on the field and the gift's live again. Our goal was to raise $1,500 for Hope Pregnancy Care Center through some cash donations from uh, our biggest Walmart distribution center was awesome. Uh, we've already met our $1,500 cash goal. So everything else we're gonna use for Hope to provide some extra presents, maybe hopefully Christmas dinner, stuff like that. Paintball kind of had a stigma that it was a real, you know, meatheads going at it, but uh, as you'll see in a minute when these guys come off the field, we have kids, we have wives, because basically we're having a big water balloon fight. We just use small water balloons and we throw them really fast. So just a bunch of kids having fun. The event raised more than $2,100 for the Hope Pregnancy Center.